Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I'm going to show you a really quick project that you can probably make in time for Valentine's Day. The project requires lightning rod, which is kind of cool and easy to come by. You can find it at most any hardware store. What you're going to need for this project, besides the lightning rod, is a hammer or two, a mallet, a striking surface, a tool to bend with, in this case it's our bat mandrel, and a pair of safety glasses. You can never be too careful. Now I've prepped this piece already and you can see what I did was I took the back side of a cross peen hammer and I just repeatedly hit in the same spot and stretched out in both directions a little bit in order to create this interesting pattern. Now, if you wanted to, you could substitute with a ball peen hammer to create a different shape. So, what you need to do is cut a piece of copper to the right length. For most people, it's about six inches. And like I said, this is a big piece of lightning rod, which is a heavy gauge of copper wire. Once you've annealed this wire, you're ready to begin. And there's a video on how to anneal metal on our channel. All right, so what I want to do is I'll show you the cross peen hammer. You just pick any spot to start in. If you want to start in the center, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start striking the metal. A good aim is important. Okay, so I've got that shape beginning to start. You can see how this is beginning to bend up. All you need to do is just turn it around, push it towards the flat surface, or I could use the mallet. And then I've got it back in shape again. And I can continue to hit it. Okay, so you just basically strike it to create an interesting texture and to stretch the metal out. You can also substitute with a ball peen hammer if you don't have the cross peen. You'll get a slightly different shape, but it's still going to look cool. Okay, once you've hammered or forged the entire length of copper, like I did in this other example right here, you need to re-anneal the metal and then you're ready to give it a bend. What you're going to do is start at the top of your bat mandrel and you're just going to give yourself a little distance between the end of the wire and the tool. Then just take your mallet and start striking towards the tool. You want to give your metal some place to go. Okay? It's like me, I need a date. Okay, so... Looky there, we're halfway there. You get the ends curved and then it's easy to do the rest. Okay, so let me give this one a little bit more of a curve. Okay, they match a little bit better now. Now all I need to do is just drop down, find a wider spot on the mandrel and just give it a little bit of a push and keep moving it back and forth a bit just to try to give it e an even push. Now, because you hit the material, you can see right here. See how where you hit, it wants to kink up a little bit. So what you need to do is come back to a nice curve that simulates the curve that you want. Just hit right on top of it, and it smooths it right back out. So let me do this other side. I'll just give the whole piece a little going over just to make sure it looks pretty. Oops, one more. There we go. Little adjustment with my fingertips, and I got that nice capital letter C shape that I want. And this makes for a very easy project. I hope you have fun making these forged copper bracelets. If you like this video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. And check out our full playlist at www.onlinejewelryacademy.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.